Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So today's episode is called, I'm pretty sure my house is haunted. And <laughs> I know it's a really silly title, but let me explain. When I was a year, this is going to start when I was about a year and a half old because my parents t tell me the story a lot. And it always makes me wonder, do I have a secret sixth sense? Because I'm pretty sure I do. When I was about a year and a half, um, my grandfather on my dad's side had passed away. And not long after he passed away, he came to visit me in my when I was in my, uh, my bed. And I went down to my parents the next day and asked why was Abuelito in my room. So my parents always thought that that was his way of saying goodbye to me because he loved me so much. And I was the first grandkid on both sides of my parents' sides of the family. So, of course, you know, being the first grandkid, I was still <laughs> the life of the party until Cameron came along on my mom's side. But, you know, all, all the grandkids are loved equally. And I'm still technically the only grandchild on my dad's side because my aunt married into a family, a pre-existing family. So my abuelita technically has step-grandchildren, but she considers me her only grandchild, which I feel very proud to say that. But on my mom's side, there's five of us and I'm the oldest and the four below me are all, all guys. Um, ever since that, that I knew about that story, I always get feelings, like not necessarily um ghost feelings but I can feel vibes in a way like I can get a reading off of somebody and know like what exactly their intentions are and who they are as a person and nine times out of ten I don't listen to myself so the first house I ever lived in was a condo and that house wasn't exactly haunted but you know I mean I always had an eerie feeling in that house and the second house I lived in was a what we called the compound because every single person on my mom's side had lived there at one point or another and it was and it's been fantastic we lived there for about oh my god I think like four or five years and I loved it I really did it was a nice place to live so anyway that house wasn't exactly haunted either I didn't feel anything there I didn't think anything was weird in that house then I moved in here. This is my third house I've ever lived in. And to add the cherry on top, we live next to a cemetery. <laughs> um, initially, I thought it was really cool because, oh my God, we live next to a cemetery. I get to like maybe experience something or see something or whatever. Then things started actually happening. And it's funny because Within the first, like, year, nothing happened. Second year, nothing really happened. It wasn't until recently that I've started noticing things. Like, I, I have a rosary that hangs above my bed for that specific reason. And I don't know if it's just because I'm paranoid or because I watch too much horror. But that is a different Chatting Skeletons episode that we will get into later. But every now and then... I'll see something move out of the corner of my eye or doors will randomly open up and slam. And I know my room is on a, a tilt. We've tested it. My room is on a slant. So I know when my door closes, it's not because of any external force. It's just because I'm on a slant. <laughs> but like my, I've seen my mom's bedroom door open up just to creak when it's been closed all the way. I've seen things move out of the corner of my eye a lot. I seen that I, the guest bedroom that my uncle is currently staying in it's got a heavy door set that you have to pull in order to really to get it to open and I've seen that open on its own when it's fully shut I've heard things in the kitchen in the in the laundry room and it's been freaky like at night when we're all asleep and the house is dark I, I'm pretty sure it's just my mind playing tricks on me but I could swear I see like shadows and it's it's so creepy. I I legit have a fear of the dark. I'm like, it's. I've been that way ever since I was a kid. I was basically conditioned to sleep in light. Like when I was younger, I had a nightlight and I had a CD I'd always play at night. 
And then as I got older and I got a TV in my room, I'd sleep with the TV on. So again, noise and light. And then every year after that, it's always been, I needed noise and light in order to sleep. I'm pretty sure nine times out of 10, I'm just psyching myself out. But with all the stuff that happens in this house and the fact that I live next to a cemetery, I would not be surprised if my house is haunted. Now, do I want to test it? Hell no. I'll leave it alone because we've all seen those horror movies where the idiot kids try to see if their house is haunted and next thing you know, shit goes haywire. So we're going to be the smart kid that survives in the end and don't, and we're not going to test this house to see if it's haunted. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to this Chatting Skeletons episode. Bye little skeletons, stay safe. Love you guys.